Sherry Cole will shed no tears as Texas A&M departs for the Southeastern Conference next season. That's because her Sooners were dismissed by the Aggies for the fourth straight season on Friday afternoon. Texas A&M out-rebounded Oklahoma 22-11 in the second half. And Kelsey Bone led the way for the Aggies with 16 points and 5 rebounds. As Whitney Hands, 24 points and 8 rebounds were not nearly enough in a 79-66 loss for Oklahoma. It just it sort of got away from us after that stretch in the second half where we cut it to five and had some options. Uh, we just, you know, we missed some shots from the perimeter. I think it comes down to not getting any second chance shots. We went through that stretch and just didn't get any offensive rebounds. And it's just so disheartening and takes away uh, your momentum when you're not getting any, any uh, second chances at the basket. And while that was happening, they were getting lots of second chances. So uh, rebounding played a huge factor as well. Um, I didn't realize it was all four years that I've been here. Um, it's just stinks, you know. You don't want to admit that they're good in the tournament and we lose to them every year. Um, but it's the facts and it's what the stats show. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's kind of heartbreaking for us um, as a team. But at the same time, you know, they're really tough in the tournament. Um, they're a tough team. They battle you. They fight you. Um, and we just we got to be tougher. we got to figure out how to be tougher. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess I remember lots of memories of playing in the tournament. tournament. Um, and, and they just fight. They fight hard, and they're bullies, and, and they, make you, they make you fight for it. Yeah, that's going to be one of the rivalries that I'm going to miss more than anything in the Big 12 is going against Sherry. I mean, my God, she outdresses me every time. She looks better than I ever had, and she's got Whitney Hand over there. Everything about Oklahoma I like. And I'm tired of them coming down, taking all our football players away, okay? They need to stay across that border. <laughs> Things aren't all bad for Oklahoma, which will return home to host the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament, which begins on March 18th. The Sooners will find out just who's headed to Norman when the selections are announced on Monday night. Reporting from the Big 12 Women's Basketball Championship in Kansas City, Damon Fontenot, News OK Sports.